Welcome to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we're gonna start on self building thing with Team Rocket people in it. But first of all, I'm just gonna kind of go through here, take a look at all the, the people. We got Mukana Army and a sword now. Who's got uh, Overgrow and Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, Toxic, which I'm so happy about. Um, also, we've got. Oh, I gave him the Quick Claw. Yeah, and he's a bashful nature. I do not remember what all these are, so you'll just have to bear with me. Chode is modest, of course. Go figure, right? He's got static, which is awesome if he could, you know, not get fucking killed every time something touches him. That'd be great. But anyhow, he's just got Charge Spark, Screech, and Sonic Boom. Don't really have much. I'm gonna have to look here soon to see if we can teach him anything worthwhile because yeah we can kind of diversify his move pool that'd be that'd be great anyway we get on over here to the dirt machine we got slash rock tomb sand attack on this fucker and swift swift is the muck killer if you watch the other episode he's got sand veil by the way and a relaxed nature he's pretty he's pretty chill Granker here is is lonely. He, he's 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 lonely. But anyway, he's got Vital Spirit, which could come in handy. Could come in handy. Oh, no 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 need to do that. He's just got Mega Punch, Strength, Low Kick, and Karate Chop. Um, I don't really have. It. He's just a fucking guy. Anyway, we got Stella here with Whirlwind, Sand Attack, Fly, and Quick Attack. Kenai, which is very, very useful. This attack isn't too bad, actually. This is quiet nature. Shit, I should know what that is. I should know what quiet nature is, because that's I think that's one of the ones that you usually try and go get on my Pokemon, and if I have the choice between natures. But anyway, um, that's it for these guys. Um, I did find out the other day. Was it the other day? The other night? Whatever it was. That, um... Just a little kind of announcement in case you don't know already, which I'm sure you do if you're ready for the new games to come out. Um, remember when I was talking about having like Pokemon gems and all that shit? Well, apparently in Omega Ruby and Sapphire, you got you got the fucking little hideout thingies and they can have gems in them now. And from what I read, you could actually you could actually choose what type of battles you have in your gyms and, of course, invite people. I don't know the exact specifics of it, but that's just kind of the way that it's going, which is awesome because that's something that I've wanted them to do for a long time. And you know my gym is going to have fucking double battles. I know I've talked about that already. But anyhow, also, Mega Metagross is a fucking thing, and Metagross being one of my all-time favorites, actually, Beldum Metagross, that whole damn thing, is pretty awesome. Do I have to fight this guy? I'm not sure. Hi, he's taking a snooze. All right, what about you, buddy? All right, anyway. I guess we'll go ahead and just roll up in here and start doing shit. Because, uh, yeah, I have no idea exactly what we're supposed to do in here or whatnot. So we're pretty much just going to wander around. You know me. I got I to gotta, I gotta make sure we ain't got no goodies hiding out over here. But, um... I am, ooh, hello. I am pretty excited, by the way. I mean, I'm not super duper like, oh my god! You know, gotta keep my pulse and all the fucking news for the new games, but I'm I'm excited to see him. Uh, I mean, I kind of am. I'm not really lying to you. I'm, I've been wanting to play a Pokemon game on here for quite a while, so yeah. And, and since we're playing this, and you know what, in all honesty, I am gonna have I am gonna have a capture card by then, and I will I will try and LP that as soon as possible. Sorry, I can't fucking multitask at all here. I'm kind of doing two things at once. Not really, not really paying attention to what I'm doing and talking. That's kind of hard. The goddamn dog's making a lot of noise. And I apologize. Sorry. She decides she was just fucking passed the fuck out for the last two hours. And just now, as soon as I start recording, she decides to say, Hey, let me go fucking dick with my toys and make a bunch of noise with my fucking collar. But anyway, yeah, you hear that over there, dirt machine? Fucking dog. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so yeah. 
I think we've got a pretty good crew, obviously, to take out these guys. I mean, y you know what Team Rocket is going to have. You know, Zubats, Mux, Grimers, you know, Coughings, um, probably some Machops here and there littered about, and, and fucking Radicates. But, you know, we've got a pretty good crew to take care of these guys. Like I said, I have... I, I cannot remember who the fucking Leaf War is. I'm not going to lie to you. So really, it's kind of a fucking shot in the dark. I haven't went and checked. So I have no idea how hard this is going to be when we get to the end of the game. No idea. All I do know is I'm unsure how we're going to handle fucking Sabrina after this. Because we get to take on the gym after this. We get to take on another gym. How awesome is that? And that's, I don't know, what, 5th, 6th gym or whatever? I don't, I don't fucking know. I can only remember like one other gym after Sabrina, and that's Blaine. I don't. I know we got another one, don't we? I'm pretty sure. See how bad my memory is. I mean, that's like shit like that. Like I don't know why, but that sort of shit. It, it just. It it yeah. I just can't commit it to memory. I mean, I can tell you who like my starting eleven is on Football Manager, but I can't tell you who. Or you know, who has what in this game? Oh God. Other than Team Rocket, just because they kind of have, like, prototypical Pokemon. And that's one thing. I don't know if I've bitched about this yet or not. That's, but I'm going to say it anyway. Oh, a Cubone. That's kind of new. Good opening for Makana. But that's one of the things I've never liked about the game. So you've got the team people, and they all have the same Pokemon. It just gets... It just gets predictable, you know. I mean, you know, you, you see a guy in a Team Rocket thing, like, oh, well, I know what this guy's gonna fucking roll out against me. So it's really easy to, to combat. I mean, there's not a whole lot of... Not really any, any surprises. And, and I like things to kind of get mixed up every once in a while. Something something that's a little challenging. Kind of like Koga's Gym. I mean, Koga had some Pokemon in there that had no business being in a poison-themed gym. Like, Drowsy, I mean, I'm sorry, but Drowsy's got, like, what, fucking smoke screen or some shit? Isn't that what it was using against this, or poison gas or some dumbass shit? I mean, it's a psychic type, but, you know, yeah, whatever. I mean, at least that is kind of, I mean, not really themed, but, I mean, at least that's kind of, kind of a, you know, a, just a bump in the road. Something different, you know, that you don't see every fucking day. But anyhow, that's... That's how I feel about that. But, the new games do look pretty good, by the way. I, I, I have checked up. I usually, like... I, I'm sorry, like, I did that with, like, the last one. Like, checking every day to see what the fuck was going to happen with X and Y. And, honestly, at the end of it, I was so... Oh, fuck. I should not have sent him out here. Because he doesn't have a ground move. I was thinking, hey, I got ground moves. No, I don't. God damn it. Now he's just going to eaten up by the supersonic and shit. Ugh. Fucking confusion. Anyway. We should have lived with this fucker right here so you can just, like, karate chop and break this fucking steel. Because somehow, karate, you can karate chop steel beams and shit. I don't really understand that. But anyway, like I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted by this little bastard Magnemite right here. I, I kind of kept tabs on my, I kept my finger on the pulse of all the Pokemon news and all that good shit when, um, when, uh, when X and Y came out, but I just kind of quit doing that with this one, just because, I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't know, maybe it's just the fact that it's third gen, I didn't really didn't care for third gen much, and the fact that, you know, like, just everything, I mean, I, I don't know, I, I think it really was... In fact, that it's third gen, and you know, at, and I think my, I think my exposure to like YouTube kind of fucked it up too, because you know, when when Mega Ruby and all that shit, you know, or after X and Y and all that shit came out, you know, there's all this fucking speculation, and every two bit YouTuber and his fucking brother were doing little fucking videos on news and bullshit that wasn't real and you know and I don't watch the actual news to begin with like legit I do not watch any evening news because it's all fucking it's all bullshit it really is I mean it's it you know let me know when something actually fucking happens not when things that people think might happen happen or some shit like that I mean I don't know that's just how I feel and that's how like you know 
had all these people with all these supposed leaks. Now, the leaks are interesting, yes. But then you have all these people who speculate, whoa, wow, I, this is what I think is going to happen in this game. Ain't nobody give a fuck. I mean, you fucking post that shit and, you know, no, nobody's any more inclined to that shit than the next person. And honestly, it ain't worth two cents until somebody actually releases some news that's worthwhile. I mean, give me some... Not really cold, hard facts, but until they tell you what's going to be in the game, there ain't no fucking point in, you know, spreading rumors and shit. I guess that's the way I feel about it. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, when, it, when Omega, Ruby, and, and Alpha Sapphire came out, everyone shit their pants and, and blew up all over the internet and YouTube, and shortly thereafter was when I decided to piece together my own fuck who am I gonna use ah this is what I got for this guy shortly after that is when I decided to start my own channel and all that good shit is because yeah I mean like I said unless it's actually news to actually announce it and it's somewhere like you've got Koro Koro screenshots or some shit like that in Metagross's case until that happens I don't fucking care what Pokemon you think should get Megas in Gen 3 I mean, I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm an asshole, but that's that's just that's just how I roll. I just don't give no fucks. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out here with this guy and and let this electrode know how we really feel with the slash. And that should fuck it up pretty well, actually. As long as we don't get static, which is bullshit because we are ground and blah, that shit still hap or doesn't happen in Gen 6, which sometimes I really like Gen 6 a lot for that exact reason. But anyway, scientist Parker. But now, but now that I've rambled on, how, how are you doing? How, how how do you feel today? You feeling good? Oh no, I want to know what this guy thinks. What do you think, buddy? What do you think about Omega, Ruby, and whoa, and and and, and that shit? You, you good? I mean, do you have a secret hideout? Do you double battles? Rotation battles? What do you do? Let's find out! See what I did there? Yeah, that's right. That's right. He's wearing black. You know you can actually get a Team Rocket shirt and stuff. He brought this guy. And we've got Mokana who's gonna get his ass kicked. Did we? Uh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. We're using sh Oh, no, no, no. We were using Stella for these. We were using Stella for the Weezings. And now we're gonna get all smoke screened and shit. And it's just gonna be it's just gonna be the end of the fucking world. That's all there is to it. But anyhow. Um Also, oh, I guess a little bit of a channel update, I guess. If if you've been watching these Um oh you fucker, that just killed Chode. Oh my god. Wow. How Chode hung on with one HP is beyond me, and now we got nothing, nothing for these coughings, which we actually want to use Chode again. So I guess we'll just boss shit with Stella for a while, right? I mean, that sounds like a valid plan. But anyway, a um, bit of a channel update. I don't know if you noticed, but I've been posting. I started. Ah, you little fucker! They keep interrupting me with their self-destructing. They're little pricks. This bullshit is now we're gonna miss out on the fly, are we? No, no, he sends in the goal bat. And we've got nothing we can use the dirt machine. We can pull Stella out of the sky while she's just fucking circling like a vulture. Anyway, about a fucking. I mean, I've been trying to do this for like 10 minutes now. About a. Uh, oh, you fucking bastard. About a channel update. If you've noticed, I've been posting a shit ton of stuff. Lately, um, I don't really have any set record schedule or, or post schedule or anything like that. Um, I bulk record, so I try to like do, you know, like a week's worth of shit, you know, whatever. I sit down and record everything. Um, but I don't really have any like upload schedule or anything like that. It Pokemon is going to maintain being like an everyday thing for sure. So that's really what I'm going to do mostly on my channel. That's what I like doing. It's easy. It's it's something I like, and it doesn't really get old to me. Um, 
Right now I just got, what, two other first person shooters up. Right? Is that, is that right? Yeah. And an enemy front, and I just uploaded Fear. So, yeah, there's that. And, um... Yeah, those, I don't really know when or how often I'm going to do those. Enemy Front seems to be doing okay in terms of views and all that good shit. So, I'm, um, you know, when I start something, no, I am going to finish it. And let me just say that right now. I'm not going to just punk out and just quit just because it doesn't get views or anything stupid like that. I know this game isn't going to do great right now when I first start the channel. And I know Fear isn't going to do great when I first start the channel. And Enemy Front is only getting views right now because it's relatively current. That's fine. And I'm not one of those people who really cares about views all that much. You know, just get a decent, you know, base of people coming in and, and checking out the channel is all I really want. So that's why I kind of want to do that. Plus, I wanted to play Enemy Front. But I am going to do those things that are a labor of love. You know, like Fear and obviously Pokemon and all that good shit. But anyhow, um, so don't... Be afraid that this will go away or anything like that. Or anything will just stop or I'll just give up on something. Because like I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to finish LPs. I'm going to go from start to finish, even if nobody fucking watches it. Fact is, I like doing it. And so you're just going to have to fucking deal with it. Anyway, um, between this episode and the next one, I'm going to go hit up the shop so we don't have to come back here and heal again when Cho gets his ass kicked. But... In the meantime, if you've made it to YouTube, and you've made it this far, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that goody bullshit, and thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, remember, pants are optional.